Well, hello. Thank you for clicking on my video. How are you today? I am pretty good. So, today I have some winter DIYs for y'all. I'm sorry, I'm having some issues with this hair. But, um, I would appreciate if you stuck around, stay a while, give me a big thumbs up, and click that subscribe button. I don't think you'll regret it because we have a lot of fun and laughter on this channel. Okay, y'all, right here, I got these two, they're called lanterns. They came from Hobby Lobby. Um, these were given to me by the uh, Morton's I go to church with. They gave me like five of them. But I painted two of them in Rust-Oleum Linen White Chalk Paint. Yeah, it took a minute. And I'm going to take that star from there. It comes in a two-pack from the Dollar Tree. The reason I stopped it was I went so fast. I didn't take time to show it. But I'm going to just lay it under my little lantern. I'm going to cut around it with my, um knife yeah and try to get the best size that i can to fit down inside of my lantern because i need something to hold my little trees on with and i just put a lot out of hot glue and stuck it down in there and so you don't have to paint or anything obviously and then yeah i took the bottoms unscrewed the bottoms off those christmas trees from the dollar tree they come in a three pack it's the cobblestone ones they're they're cuter i think but anyway and I took three of them, and it's a small, medium, and large. And I'm totally out of frame here. I know. I didn't know it till it was too late. And um, just stuck the three um, in the back there. And so I screwed that one in. I hot glued them in. And then there's that ornament. I got that from Dollar Tree a couple years ago. It fell apart. There was a little, like, roof part around it and a little base on it. But I'm going to utilize it. And I'm taking Rust-Oleum Linen White Chalk Paint here. And I'm giving it, like, a snowy effect. And... While the paint is wet, I'm going to sprinkle some faux snow on there. Um, and then I had taken the little wreath off and took the little red berries off of it because I just didn't want any on there. And I'm going to take a little uh, piece of gingham ribbon and going to make me a little teeny tiny bow from a little old barn. Yep. And hot glue that on. And I'm going to add some more paint and some more of that faux snow on top of my little barn and then um well i'm getting ahead of myself y'all yep that's how you do it and then i'm going to take hot glue and i'm going to hot glue it down inside of my little lantern there y'all this is just too cute for words and then i'm going to pick a piece of hot glue up off there that i dropped and then i'm going to do this kind of stuff and leave this stuff in because you know y'all want to see that but i'm actually um i did put elmer school glue down inside there and i'm just putting a lot of faux snow down inside of it like you know put it in dump it out you know make sure everything's covered really well and then i'm going to take these little teeny tiny trees these are for ornaments i don't like the color of them so i'm going to paint them both with that Eek. was that antique green or brenda wants to choke me every time i say it wrong it's my favorite green to diy with anyway and i Took the bottoms off them, and I put them in front of my barn. I know y'all can't really see anything right now because, of course, my hand's down in there, and I'm shoveling and shifting it all around and about. Like, uh, you put your right hand in. Anyway, but y'all see it here in a minute, y'all. Anyway, because I'm like, what am I going to do with five of these things? And, of course, do you want to build a snowman? I'm going to take one of those push lights from the Dollar Tree. They take three... Um, double-A batteries, I believe, and I'm going to hot glue it to the bottom of my top part. That way, I can still untwist it and change the batteries if they go dead, and we're going to set him right down on top of the other one, and I got that toboggan is what I call it. Y'all call it beanie, and y'all call it toboggan's a sled. I know. We're crazy here. Anyway, and I'm going to fit it on his head, but that part kept falling in, obviously, because it's got a hole in top of it, and you hear those dogs tap dancing? I'm going to take a bunch of those snowballs from the Dollar Tree. I had gotten a ton of them, like three packs of each one, a couple years back. And I'm going to fill the top part of them. And then I'm going to take five snowballs, and I'm going to glue them to the inner part of my toboggan. And, yeah, I tried a couple, and then I was like, well, that's not enough, so i got to take some more. And then, um, if y'all recreate anything like this, even with, like, bowls or anything... Yeah, and yours, yours probably won't sink in unless you just use the half a bowl on the top part of his head. And that would be cute. Take those clear bowls from the Dollar Tree and do something like this. That would be adorable. Anyway, um, I just needed something for inside of his head. And I had all those snowballs. So I thought that I would just, or his, not head, hat. 
I thought I'd use those and glue them snowballs together really good. Yeah, there we go to fill it out. And then I'm going to take this skewer from the Dollar Tree, y'all. Oh, and um, I had to put my gloves on. I couldn't even. And I'm going to wrap it around his neck um, to see how much that I'm going to need of it. And it basically just took half of it, like cut it in half. Anyway, after we do that, I'm going to take and I'm just going to fold it. I'm not going to glue it, just fold it. Because, well, I want it to be loose looking, but I also need it to stay on the bottom half so I can take his head on and off. And I'm not going to tie. I'm just going to, like, fold it in, just wrap it. And I'm going to hot glue it all the way around his little body. And then um, I'm going to take his hat off. And then, yep. Yeah, just keep going. And then when I get done, I'm going to cut little slits in the other side to make it match. And, yeah, just tuck it there and hot glue it down, and we're good to go. So, excuse me. Yeah, I have to make sure the head's going to go on and off okay. So, then with the toboggan, I didn't want it to come un, un, like folded there. So, I went ahead and tacked it down all the way around my little, you know, fold there. And then I'm going to just absolutely, absolutely, <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to tack it on his little head. And I got those little foam snowflakes from the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to put one in the center of his little hat, his toboggan. And then I put some on his scarf. I kind of wanted them to match somewhat. I almost made a hem and put it around his hat with the scarf. But I was like, nah, this is cute enough. And I take two little black and white gingham uh, buttons and glue them to his belly. And then I'm going to take a green pick here, just something I tore apart. And I actually added another little white berry. So, we're going to put three little white berries on there. And that little pine cone. And y'all, y'all have to tell me if you think he's just so stinking cute. Because I think he is absolutely... Look! Oh, my gosh! Oh, no! Oh, is that cute or what, y'all? Yes, he's gone in my living room. My husband said, sit him on his end table... And he's going to use him as a little lot. I got his head on a little bit crooked there because the barn. But look at him. Oh, no. And there's with the lights off. And I think he is just too cute. And he's my thumbnail. So I hope people click on him because they think he's cute. Yes. And, yeah. I thought, I called Brenda and I was like, you think Oz knows? She said, that'd be too busy with everything else going on. I thought so, too. But I just wanted to make sure she's always my opinion. Um, yeah, so I got two of those snowflakes from the Dollar Tree, and I paint them both white. I mean, in cracks and crevices, every little piece. This might be better if you have two matching snowflakes, but I think it's cute. And then I'm going to distress it just by sanding down the edges and making it look worn out and stuff. And um, I'm going to take this board here, this MDF sign from the Dollar Tree, and I'm going to remove the tag, and I'm going to take this burlap ribbon and i'm going to take um beacon fabric tack glue well first i'm going to measure it out and get two pieces and i'm going to take beacon fabric tack glue and put it all over it and lay it on in there because i want to cover up those holes and then yeah just fold it over make sure you get the side of it real good you know because i don't want this to fall off y'all will see why it has to be on there good. And then I'm going to take some hot glue and b the beacon on the back and finish it off real good and make sure it is glued down. And I do the same thing to both sides. Now, I got those little drawer pulls, and they're two different ones. And that one looks like that. I got so many of these, y'all. That one's flat there, and it doesn't have a place to put a screw. But I'm going to wood glue them together. And then, um, yeah, any glue that squishes out, I just run my finger around it and fill the cracks with it. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then I just trace out my snowflakes, lay them down on there and trace out my snowflakes. And I'm going to take wood glue and, yeah, right? Ain't that cute? Anyway, um, and just rub it all over my sign there. And I'm going to lay my snowflake down. And I do that to both sides. And I'm going to put some weight on it. And then I'm going to take my knobs and I'm going to take, um, it's a one and a half inch brad and shoot it through because I want those to stay together too. I don't know if that was necessary, but... I know I'm going to be hanging things on it, and I know my purse is going to be one of them, and sometimes it can get pretty heavy. So, I'm just going to take wood glue and glue five of them on there, and then I paint them, and I let that dry overnight. 
And then I'm going to take my stapler here. And like where the really long staples, I'm going to put where those hangers are and staple it through. And um, I did double. See the difference in length of staples? And then the short ones, I just put everywhere else um, on the sign. And yeah, I doubled up a lot of them. And then I'm going to take that thick jute um, from the Walmart. And I'm going to stretch it out. And I'm going to tie knots in each end. That way, when I staple it, um, you can't pull it through. Hold on. My husband's up there singing. He doesn't realize I'm doing a voiceover. <laughs> okay. And then after I put it down there, yep, staple, I'm going to pull it real tight and make sure I pull it through. And then I take hot glue and I glue it together so it doesn't come untied. And here it is, y'all. And I think this is just so adorable. And it is going in my coat closet upstairs. Um, taking the one shelf out. See, you put scarves on it. There's one of my jackets or my keys or anything. I'm going to hang my purse on it. I know it's empty right now because I've taken everything out of it. But anyway, yeah, I think that'd be cute for winter. Okay, right here, I'm going to take one of those uh, vases from the Dollar Tree. It's the pot belly ones. And I'm going to clean it with some alcohol. The inside was filthy where I sand so much down here, y'all. Oh, my gosh. And I'm just going to take alcohol and remove the sticker, too, off the bottom of that scraper. And this, Brenda gave me this rub-on transfer. It came from Essential Stencils. Y'all know I love their stuff. But he is so, uh Anyway, and when I put it on anything round like that, I've learned since I put it on the pumpkins, that I rub like one half down. And then when I get that down real good, I go to the other side and rub the other side down real good. And then it usually comes out really, really cute. And then after I remove that film from it, make sure everything's stuck down. I'm going to burnish it down really well with the film. I don't know why, but I've just seen other people do it. And then on the inside, I give it, that's one thin coat of Mod Podge. After it dries, I give it a second coat of Mod Podge. And let, well, that's drying, I give the outside a coat of Mod Podge. So two coats on the inside and one on the outside and let it all dry. And look, see, beautiful. And then, I'm going to take one of those little snowflakes from the Dollar Tree, and I'm going to put it down in there behind them, and take those little snowballs there from the Dollar Tree, and dump those in there. And then, I'm going to take those mesh tube lights. It's got lights in them, and they look blue, so they were really pretty. And they take two AA batteries. I, I've had them for a couple years. I'm going to put them in there. And I'm going to take that pretty um, ribbon, blue ribbon. That's pretty, isn't it? Um, the Mortons from church gave that to me also. Their daughter Susie's actually going to give it to me. But I'm going to dovetail the ends of it. They gave me like three or four totes worth of stuff, you guys. And with all y'all's gifts and all the eye, my room, it looks like it blew up. But anyway, and I'm going to take some of that gingham ribbon from the Dollar Tree and tie a little knot around it also. I'll end up cutting that shorter later, you guys. But... And then I'm going to take some jute, and I'm going to take a, that bead, a black and white bead, a white bead, and then a little, like, like neutral, like brown, like wooden tone, two of those beads. And I'm going to tie it around my little vase, and then I'm going to take that little tag from the Walmart. It's actually an ornament, I think, for a small tree, and I'm going to hot glue it right underneath that one bead. That other, that bead, you see what I mean? Anyway, yeah, hot glue that on. This took longer than what you think, and this took like two seconds on here, you guys. And I'd put some flowers in it, some pretty, like, wintery berries, and I changed my mind, yeah. I took them out. Um, I don't know. You can put anything in it you want, but I just think that is just too daggone precious. Something pretty to have to say. I thought it'd be cute to make two of them. And set them in my windows in the living room. And look with the lights on. Oh my goodness. Is that the cutest or what? Oh, y'all. I just, I love everything in this video. I'm telling you the truth. Yes, I think. And there's with the lights on and the lights on. <laughs> I want to make sure you got every. And there's with the lights oh, off and the light on. There's <laughs> one more thing to say. Sorry, you guys. I just want to pop in here and say. I pray y'all have a very blessed new year, a happy new year, wonderful new year. All y'all just have the best year ever. I really do. And y'all, all the gifts y'all sent me and the cards, oh my gosh, blow my mind. And <laughs> I want to open them, but there's so many that I can't like fit them all in one video. So what I thought I'd do 
is like open like one or two per video like the two or three box ones well i'll have to do that one in video because it will take a while but um and then like smaller ones and stuff and, and i'm not saying oh small but no um maybe i don't know well there just went a pile of them the dogs just knocked them over because that's what kind of day i have had with these crazy dogs but anyway i thank y'all so so very much i'm so so very blessed i just you guys don't even know how much i appreciate that and then like two days ago <laughs> two days ago i went in and checked and um well i didn't go in and check i was on my my youtube studio and i have all these super things that you guys have sent me you all it doesn't tell me who sends them and the amount or anything and and, and i don't care about amounts at all but the the who sends them i would i like because i just like the you know thank you and stuff like that and i, and I truly truly mean it but um y'all y'all just pushed me over an edge i was like oh my check's not gonna be that great because i haven't um worked for two weeks because i've been exhausted and i, and I had pneumonia and walking pneumonia and y'all just did it y'all did it for me and i i thank you so very much and i praise the lord that y'all are in my life and i love y'all and it was a lot bye okay you guys right here i got one of those picture frames from the dollar tree and i'm just gonna take everything out of it my little couple of my little um things broke off prongs so just i don't know try to be careful i guess and i painted the whole thing white first i was gonna just dry brush it on and then i totally changed my mind and went a different route but anyway y'all can do it however you want and then make sure you clean your glass real good i clean it with alcohol and then yeah jesse wanted to pop in and say hi and y'all haven't seen her in a while and it's a new year and what better way to bring in a new year than with a jesse jane huh yeah i know right <laughs> she's so precious she has eye boogers all the time she's a boxer her third eye is pretty serious i've had a couple that their third eye is pretty like crazy but that's all right i still love her the same yeah anyway those stickers came from miss wanda cruz so i thought let me get these bad boys give these bad boys a a try so i started at on the very last word at the very end because i know me and i can get some stuff crooked and i'm just gonna put let it snow i like those stickers you guys i know that the dollar general sells them i've saw them there and i also know that um cvs sells them yeah if y'all have cvs's i don't know you know states are different you never know what you're gonna get anyway and then i took some rust-oleum linen white chalk paint and i painted um back behind my let it snow and i gave it two coats you guys and then i'm gonna take that that uh scrapbook and paper um i got that at the hobby lobby but it was it came from a book but i've seen like snowflake scrapbook and paper at the hobby lobby before and then um even black and white um and i just laid it down there and cut it with my craft knife nothing fancy and then i'm going to put it back in my frame and um where my prongs came off i uh taped it down real good with uh some masking tape because i didn't want it to fall out later you know um i taped it in two different places and then um which i don't think it will because it's really kind of light but i just would rather be on the safe side and you don't want to sell something and it fall apart but anyway i don't know if i'm going to sell that one though because I think I'm going to keep that one in my house because it's too cute. But then I'm going to take some uh, black chalk paint and distress it. I'm talking about selling stuff. I've never sold anything. It hangs on my wall, and then it gets dusty, and then I'm like, I don't want it anymore. It's dusty. Um, and I don't want to dust. No, I'm joking. Um, anyway, <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. But, um, oh, I got that little uh, corrugated. Is that what it is? I know what it's called, and, of course, whenever I'm... Um, got italians i don't remember anyway snowman and i'm just gonna uh, go around him with the black and um i put some uh ribbon and made the brim of his hat and then i'm gonna take that ribbon and fold it and glue it and i'm gonna make him a little scarf you guys this is adorable i'm painting as i'm doing this and i just got paint on my good pants anyway and i just tie it around there and um and then I'm going to cut little slits in it to make it look scarfy. You know, I don't know if that's a word, but it is now. And then I'm going to hot glue that down, just tack it down um, so it doesn't go anywhere. And I did take it and put, I dry brushed black on his hat to make it more like stick out. But then it had a hole in it because that's supposed to be an ornament. So I took another one of those little uh, 
yeah, snowflakes there and covered that hole. And um, I'm going to take Aileen's tacky glue and hot glue because I want it to stick to that glass pretty good. don't want him to fall off there. And um, I end up dry brushing around the little snowflake also. But then I decided to dry brush some white on there. I thought that would look better. I mean, he was cute either way. But I was like, wonder what this will look like. So I tried it. I think it's, I think it's cute. But y'all, tell me what you think. I think that is absolutely adorable. And I love that frame like that. I have another one. And I'm thinking, well, what can I do with it? Oh, and I hot glued a little snowflake up in the corner. Okay. Right here, y'all. Brenda gave me those three... Um, things right there they come from dollar tree i can never find them but they got them little staples in them jackie um from uh crafting and mimi's world she gave me one also but i'm gonna do like a white wash showing them i just put some uh rust-oleum linen white chalk paint and spritz some water on there and just barely you know and i did take a, a wet wipe and wipe them off and then i got these little wooden letters here and i don't know where they came from they was given to me and I'm going to um, do the wax on, wax off with the Waverly Antique Wax. You know, I'm going to do the Mr. Miyagi, is what I call it. And so, uh, okay. Because I want them to match those little deer. I got those at Walmart like two or three years ago, you guys, for like 98 cents or something like that. And on my Cricut, I cut out the word home and home. I just duplicated it. <laughs> Sorry, I know y'all like, you're a nerd. But anyway, just going to burnish that down on there. And um, I'm going to take masking tape here and my mat my and go across to make sure I get my little uh, letters glued on there straight. And I'm going to use Aileen's Tacky Glue and glue them on there. And then I'm going to take that, that thicker jute from the Walmart and I'm going to make me a hanger. I'm just trying to line it up here on my mat because I want to get it straight because I hate when I do things like this and they come out wonky and crooked. I'm like, great, that's nice. But I'm just going to lay a uh, juke down and staple it on, make sure it's straight. And I pick it up and do that every time. And I put two staples in each of them, you guys. There, I was just tacking it. But I tie a knot in the ends and then... Um, and then I staple it right above so you, it won't pull through. I did fringe out the little uh, string that was left off in the bottom and cut it really short. But I'm going to take that adorable ribbon that I got at Walmart. You guys, I've had that one or two years. I can't remember anymore. And going to make him a scarf. And then going yep, gonna to make it scarfy. Um, and then I'm going to do it with that cute little uh, snowy tree pine tree or whatever it might be a douglas fir i don't know and make two scarves and i'm going to take and i did lay those down and trace them out so i could remember where they went and i'm going to take aileen's tacky glue and hot glue and i'm going to glue them on yeah there i'm showing you see i traced them because otherwise i would have messed up exactly where i wanted them and again aileen's tacky glue and hot glue and put them on there and then i got those little tiny trees from the dollar tree and i'm just going to cut the backs off of them and make them flat so I can hot glue them down. I glued three on one side and two on the other. And um, I made them shorter. Like two of them was the same height. And I made one just a tad shorter than the other. But then there was actually shorter ones. Anyway, I'm going to, I know, right? I'm going to take that greenery there. And I don't know where that came from because I got pieces of it everywhere. And I'm going to glue it to the top of my little sign with a little pine cone. And then I'm going to um make a little bow and i'm gonna hot glue him up underneath there i put two different types of greenery on there and then i'm gonna take mod podge and um that faux snow and i'm gonna put it on my trees and my pine cone and the top of my sign and the bottom of the one which is the top of the other you know i'm gonna do that number right there anyway yeah and sprinkle that faux snow all over it and y'all i love this too i think this is just it's the most to say the least i think it's adorable anyway yeah and there it is oh isn't it cute oh how are you guys oh i've missed you and it's been forever i know i've already asked how you were but i'm gonna ask again but i hope y'all like everything in this video um i thought this was like cute and adorable uh wintery diys 
Anyway, I think I'll do one more, and then that'll be it for winter and Christmas. But here's everything, y'all. I got a little bit of craziness at the end of the video if you want to stick around and check it out. But I was going to say, too, about that um, scarf, coat, purse hanger. You can hang it long wise, too. It'll be cute either way. But I, I just pray y'all have a great week. And I just remember that I love y'all from the bottom of my heart. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Here we go. Now, anyway, that just went on going, going, and going. Ew, ew, look at her wrinkle. Ooh, ew, ooh.